Uh, number one was my favorite. I think it was um, nice and tender, bite through skin, good chicken flavor. Uh, number three was my least favorite. Um, skin was floppy and um, pulled off and there was lots of rub that was still exposed under the skin, too much so that interfered with the flavor of that. Um, and number five was interesting. Um, appearance wise it didn't look great. It, it was rough and had a very misshapen it looked like it was, could have been burnt, but it wasn't. It had a great taste to it, and uh, the texture was pretty good as well. Number one was my favorite also. It was moist, uh, very tasteful. Um, number five was my least, it was a little on the dry side. I'm, I'm sorry, number four was on the dry side. Number five, in terms of appearance, was a, not as sharp, but it was really tasteful. My favorite was number four. I thought it had the best overall flavor with the sweetness and still it had the hot, um, a little bit of hot. It was very tender and the skin was bite through. My least favorite was number three. It had a good flavor, however, the skin did not pull off when I took a bite. So overall, good plate of chicken. Number one was my least favorite. It was dry and had a bit of an overpowering smoke flavor, maybe a little too much smoke. Um, my favorite was act, would have been number three. It was absolutely delicious, but um, a point that other people made, the skin was a little flabby, but the meat was absolutely delicious. Um, and all around number four was probably the showpiece on this plate because it had everything going for it right. Moist, delicious, honest, not overly brined, not overly smoked, great balance, nice crisp skin, good flavor all, all in all. Bravo. My favorite was number two. Uh, it was very tender and and a good flavor, really good flavor. Least favorite numbers three are four and five. Uh, they didn't. I couldn't taste chicken. It's like they were cooked in an electric oven. They were all tender, but it just didn't have the flavor. Uh, my favorite would be number two. It was moist and tender. Uh, had a great flavor to it. My least favorite would have been number three because of the skin uh, was rubbery and pulled straight off. Um, had some great ribs today. The uh, first couple were especially good. Um, had one that was uh, Kind of strange the last one was a little on the strange side i think everybody agreed it was dry and tough and had a real odd taste to it the rest of them were pretty darn pretty darn good um, i'm happy um good entries today um, number one for me was my favorite but it fell off the bone completely off the bone i'd have gave it a perfect score but they overcooked that one number two was also was overcooked and it had really good flavor as well um had one i don't know what was going on or what they put on it but um it was um but other than that we had two really good entries the entry number one was my favorite i could eat that all day long the last entry number five was not very good at all. It was very dry. Um, very good ribs today. Like I said, number one and number three were my favorites. They all looked good. Good job, guys. I think number one was my favorite, and uh, it, it had really good taste to it, and it fell right off the bone. And the rest of the rest of the uh, ribs were average. Nothing extraordinary out of, out of the rest of them. Thank you. You want me to talk? Yeah. Which one's your favorite? Which one's your least favorite? Why? Well, I like number one the best. I could taste the meat, taste the pork. Some of the others had a very sweet taste, and I don't care for the sweet taste. I like to be able to taste the meat. Which was your least favorite? Uh, 
probably number two. Because? Too sweet. Okay. Pass it up. Go ahead. Tell us what you think. I like number one as well. Uh, my least favorite was number three. It had a, it was really tough and had a kind of a bitter taste to it. Judges, if I can have your attention for a quick second. Just want to thank you. You're a big part of uh, barbecue contest. And I want you to know when you take the time to show up, it is great. Um, appreciate This was a so very close up. category, uh, the pork category. I did like number four the best. Um, it just had a taste and a, a consistency in all the criteria and uh, everything else pretty much just came in second. I'm Cole and Micah. Tell you what your name is. Micah. And, and we are cooking barbecue meatball hamburgers. Okay. How many how many times have you cooked hamburgers before? More than once? Mm -hmm. Okay. What did you do to make these taste good today? Put some rub on and eat and what kind of rub did you put on? Eat eat okay. and simmer on docks. Okay. What else? What are you going to do to them to make them taste good? I'm going to put on the, our Atlanta barbecue sauce. Okay. And with that, I'll let you get back to work. And thank you very much. Okay. Hi, I'm Maya. And I'm Jake. And we are cooking uh, meatball subs. Okay. And what we did to make it taste good was we have onions and peppers in the sub too and, and um, we mi we mixed beef and pork in, in the meatball so it's like we call it bork so borkinator subs <laughs> is what we named it so okay. how many times have you cooked this um this just once no just no i mean Okay, we cooked it last week for the first time. For the for a practice. Hi, my name is Olivia, and I am cooking burgers. Um, I am what? Um, I'm putting on the um, some avocado, some onion, and mixed in with the patty is bacon, cheese, and this rub, and this rub. Um, I, um, I've made a meatball version of these, but I haven't made them in, like, burger. How did they taste as meatball? Um, they tasted pretty good in, it, for how I did them, um, but I, I didn't win with them, so we're trying burgers. Good evening. My name is Greg Muller. I'm the director of culinary innovation with Rectech Grills based out of Augusta, Georgia. We are here in Gainesville, Georgia at Hogan on Lanier, a fantastic KCBS barbecue event. We look forward to a fantastic weekend cooking on the Rectech Grills. So we uh, manufacture probably the best pellet grill on the market. We've got uh, seven different pellet grills. They are all PID controlled, which means once you set that temperature, it's not going to deviate one degree. We're also known for a couple things, iconic micro brushed uh, bullhorn handles as well as very large hoppers. Uh, four of the grills I'm cooking on tomorrow, the uh, 700s have 40 pound hoppers, so I'm going to cook all my meats on there, one for each grill, so I've got four grills in the back of this trailer. It's going to make my night really simple. I'm going to turn them on, put my meat on, go to bed, and wake up and and uh, mess with them in the morning. Price points and availability. There you go. So all of the grills are available. We ship free in the uh, lower 48. So the largest grill in our lineup, uh, the Beast and Chuck Wagon, are cart mounted and trailer mounted grills. We also feature a BFG, which is 2,500 square inches of cook space. It literally is a BFG. Uh, that's going to be uh, $27.99. The RT700, our flagship product, which uh, we have four in the trailer here, they're $11.99. Uh, they feature a six year warranty. A little bit smaller than that is the RT590, that is 590 square inches of cook 
cook space. Features a 30 pound hopper, four year warranty. That's $8.99 with free shipping. And then uh, one of the smallest uh, grills in our lineup, but one of the more popular on the circuit, uh, especially for chicken, is the RT340 Trailblazer. That features a 20 pound hopper and a two year warranty. And again, all of that great quality that you are used to with Rectech grills. Uh, it's going to be uh, $5.99 free shipping. And then Kids Q tomorrow, uh, we've got a fantastic Bullseye Bonanza, uh, the RTB380, uh, retails for $3.99. It's out of stock until November, uh, but all the Kids Q will be on that, and it'll be super exciting because the grills will actually, uh, the kids will actually light the, their own grills uh, throughout their cooking process. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Hopefully, we win some, uh, some get some calls tomorrow. But there's some great competition here in uh, at Hagen on Lanier. It's our first time here. It definitely won't be the last, and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys uh, out on the circuit. <music>